We're getting more reaction to the Derek Chauvin verdict and what it means for Minneapolis. Joining us live this morning is Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry. Mayor, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. You said last night, this is day one. This is the time for change, and we are the city that's going to make that change. What do you mean very specifically about what changes need to happen in this city? There are a litany of changes that need to happen right now in our city, and it's incumbent on each and every one of us, both at City Hall as well as out in our neighborhoods, to recognize that the status quo has not been acceptable. This is a shift in how our economy functions, a shift, yes, in our police department, a shift in every facet of life, and this has got to be day one of that rejuvenation and rebirth. I'm optimistic. You know, every single morning right now, we have to wake up and say, you know what, this is an opportunity to do things differently, and it is. We know Philonis Floyd said yesterday that George Floyd, his brother, uh, his life ended that day, but his legacy will live on. How do you hope to see George Floyd's legacy live on in Minneapolis? I think that's exactly right. Uh, George Floyd's legacy must live on. Uh, it's a legacy of, of love and, and joy exactly the person who he was, but it's also now a, very much a legacy of racial justice and healing. Uh, we've recognized that there have been you know, 400 years, not just the nine minutes, but 400 years worth of, of mistreatment and to our black community and, and what George Floyd will, will mean symbolically, uh, uh, but also in real and physical memorial structure down at 38th in Chicago is that this change needs to happen right now on the ground at this moment. Mayor, as you are very well aware of, we have had many discussions about what the future of policing looks like in Minneapolis. And it looks very different to different people. Change is hard. How do you do this? I don't think it, anybody entirely agrees on the issue, but I think there are several core principles that we can agree on. Uh, first, that we need deep structural change in the way our police department operates. We need a full-on culture shift to get the right officers in and the wrong officers out. There are also many calls that simply don't require response from a police officer with a gun and would be better served by, say, a social worker or a mental health responder. And we know we still need police and law enforcement. And, you know, I am very appreciative of their work because they are going into situations that nobody else wants to. Uh, and so I very much believe in a both-end approach. Uh, which means, you know, yes, accountability and safety beyond policing, and also we need police. Between all of the cheers and the tears yesterday, we heard people at George Floyd Square saying they see us. People in Minneapolis saying that they felt seen and they felt heard by that jury's decision. What would you want those people to know uh, this morning? Do you hear them? Do you see them? We hear them, we see them, and to be frank, it's tragic that this is the first time that they, in many respects, are being seen and heard. Uh, it's tragic that this verdict was a surprise to so many in our black community that have seen justice go undone for years and, in fact, generations. Uh, so in many senses, this is a solemn occasion. It's also a joyful one at the same time. So there are multiple different truths at the same time, but I think the message is loud and clear. You know, this is not the end, this is the beginning. This is day one of that rejuvenation and rebirth as to who we can be in our city. And it's been a difficult year. You know, our, our city has experienced just a barrage of trauma over these last 11 months and perhaps more through COVID-19. Uh, but, uh, you know, that barrage of trauma can lead to us setting an example of inclusivity and opportunity and hopefully an example that the rest of the country can follow. Mayor Fry, thanks for joining us this morning.